Tim from Seabrook has termite troubles. Well, he has a house that was built in Brenham, but then they moved it to Seabrook. Apparently, they weren't building houses in Seabrook that year or something. Anyway, Tim writes, over the past 10 years, we remodeled about 90 to 95%. Uh, and a couple of years ago, we noticed something odd about the floors, you know, under the new kitchen they put in. A couple of years ago, um, we had a termite inspector come out and check the house for termites. Well, we haven't come back and reinspect again. Well, we come to find out that the inspector was too big to get under the house. Turns out we did have termites, even though they said we didn't, and they ate through some of the subfloor in the kitchen. The beams are okay, but to fix it, they're going to have to pull up all their bamboo because it's tongue and groove to where the subfloor is to fix it and then completely replace the floor. Tom, they're just not sure what to do with this. You got to fix it. They're, they they know what to do, Charlie. And I, I get questions all the they time. Just, they People just don't actually like, know what the answer right, is. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. 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 It's like, you know, how do I lose weight? Diet and exercise. What else you got? <laughs> uh, and when you put a house on blocks, which I know this was if you moved it, you're supposed to have 32 inches so fat guys can get under the house from the, the ground to the bottom of the beams. Maybe and that's not really guy. for fat guys, but it's for termite control. Oh, then yeah. on the blocks, you have what's called a termite shield. A termite shield will keep the termites from coming over the top and getting up into the house. And so, you know, you can't fix it now so, as far so as you're saying making when, termite proof or do the details right. right. When they moved the house down there, that's where the problem began because they didn't do the install right even when they put the house on the blocks. That's perfect. You are correct with that. And it's closer to the ocean and there's a lot more termites. But as far as it goes now, uh, he's exactly right. I'm glad the beams are in good shape. Mm -hmm. And so you got to tear the floor out and replace all the termite damaged wood. All the subfloor. All that. Would it be worth it, Tom, when they're down there to go ahead and put these shields in if they're not there even now? You can't. Really? Yeah. What happens is it's, I want you to, if you can picture a concrete block, if that's usually what they're put on. And then there's this pan that goes on the top of it before the pressure treated lumber goes on there to bolt it all down. And for them to, they, they would literally have to lift the house up, put these pans in, and then put it back down. I mean, you can do it, uh, but it, it is going to be the whole process of moving a home without moving it, but lifting it up and then bringing it back down. So the good news is we can get rid of the termites. The bad news is it's going to mean invasive surgery. Well, he knows what's wrong. He's got soft spots in his bamboo yeah. floor or whatever floor he has, and it's got to be replaced. Right. Well, we can answer every question here, whether it's good news or bad news. We shoot you straight. And just give us that. You can visit homeshowradio.com for some help if you have need something with a project or home improvement or what have you. Just go ahead and click on that Ask Tom form in the middle of our homepage at homeshowradio.com. Fill it out. Send it in. We'll do a video like this that we'll put up on our YouTube channel. Have you, by the way, on YouTube? There's a little subscribe button. If you click that and the bell next to it, we'll let you know when we post new ones. And we post them every day.